Hi everyone, this video is going to demonstrate aseptic retrieval technique for the dental assistant. Aseptic retrieval means we are going into a central supply area, whether it's a drawer, a supply tub, or a multi-use package without contaminating it. Now when you're working chair side, there will come a time when you realized you forgot an item or you ran out of the items or you dropped something on the floor and you need to replace it quickly. We have to get the new item without contaminating the rest of the stock that we have. There are several ways to do this. So when you're chair side, these hands have been in the patient's mouth. I cannot touch drawer handles. I cannot go into drawers, tubs, or other storage bins or closets with these dirty gloves. I can do one of three things. I can remove these contaminated gloves, wash my hands, get what I need, rewash my hands because my bare hands have touched the drawer handle or closets or other central supply locations, and then put a new pair of gloves on. That's the longest technique. And if your doctor is waiting on you, probably the most irritating technique because it takes so long. The better options are to use an overglove or some offices don't like purchasing these. It's an added cost. You could use a sterile cotton pliers. For the overglove technique, I just take out one glove for the procedure before the procedure starts. I set it up along with the rest of my instruments and supplies in case I need it. So my gloves are dirty. These have been in the patient's mouth. I can take the overglove. Be careful to handle it just by the cuff. The overglove fingers need to stay clean because that's what's going to touch the drawer handle and the items inside the drawer. So with this clean overglove, I can touch clean drawer handles. As long as these handles have not been contaminated, you can touch these, you can reach inside and take the supplies you need. You can then either close the drawer, pushing it with your knee, or take your clean overglove that's still on your hand and push it closed. So that's one way to retrieve items aseptically. Now before you return to the mouth, take your overglove off. Since the dirty side of the glove is the actual inside, I can just slip this straight off and place it over here for disposal. If your office doesn't purchase overgloves, it's an added cost. They prefer using a cotton pliers, very common technique. Also great for when you're sorting through bins, looking for some small item like a wedge or a capsule for composite. This cotton pliers is not used in the patient's mouth. This is separate from the cotton pliers used by the doctor. So the assistant will have their own cotton pliers. To get into the drawer, if you don't have over gloves, best way to open this is with a piece of gauze or a paper towel. So take a paper towel because you don't want to touch that drawer handle with your dirty gloves. Use that barrier to open it. Use the cotton pliers to pick up what you need. Close the drawer with your barrier, the gauze or the paper towel. Set that to the side to dispose of after the procedure. Keep this on your side so it doesn't get confused with the doctors in case you need to use that again. And now you're ready to pick up what you just retrieved and go to the patient's mouth with it. So two quick techniques to get supplies out of a central location without contaminating the entire supply. Hope this is helpful and thank you for watching.